All right, just doing a quick uh, first, uh, I guess, uh, thoughts on this new Asus uh, Transformer book, T100TA. <clears throat> I guess that's what it, what it is, Transformer book. Um, let me bring them into the light a little bit. So I bought this yesterday at Office Depot, 350 bucks, uh, 32 gigabyte model. I'm gonna grab my uh, W510, something to compare it to. Um, no battery in the keyboard, but supposedly gets around 11 hours. Uh, I would say uh, their footprint's about a little smaller on the Asus, same size of screen and everything. Um, but it's uh, just the tablet itself. It's actually a little slightly larger than the Asus. When you stack them up, it's probably like a, a, a maybe a quarter of an inch taller. Uh, they're about the same thickness. Hard, a little harder to tell because this one's beveled <coughs> on the edges. Um, Screen-wise, I would say the Acer screen, they're both IPS. Uh, I would say the Acer is better. Uh, the whites are whiter. And it's a little, well, there's a little blue tinge on this, on the whites. I would say it's, uh, what do they call it? The, the, the uh, temperature is cool, I guess, uh, I would say. Uh, colors seem to pop maybe slightly more on the Acer, although it could just be a little more unrealistic. Uh, I never even, I didn't notice it until I actually had them side by side, though. They're, they're pretty darn close. This is just not quite as white, uh, the whites. Um, performance wise, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to really do anything here to, uh, be for it to be too obvious in just regular tasks. Um, but let's start. I can't do it at the same time. So you just have to see the difference here. Let's see. We'll hit that one now and then we'll hit this one now. And you can see that one was pretty darn instant. And this one's a little bit slower. And I don't know. They're both connected to the same internet. And, uh, anyway. Just typical applications, you don't really notice a big difference. The Asus definitely, with that bay trail, does seem to be smoother overall. But the Acer was already pretty darn smooth to begin with. Um, of course, completely, completely different when it comes to gaming. This one you can actually, actually do some gaming on, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Let me start up something. Um, let's go to... Uh, Let's go to we'll play. I've had some issues running some stuff. Like I installed Stalker, but for some reason I it crashes on me, and it, I think it's because I changed the resolution while I was in the game. But it ran. I mean, it ran fine. I ran Bioshock, which ran Bioshock One, which ran completely fine on low settings. Um, let's do New, New Vegas here. Loaded up on Jabbering here. This one, of course, you can't do anything on. Uh, so gaming wise, other than I mean, I could run like old Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I ran ran completely smooth. For some reason, that was one of the only games I could run any other game from that time. And for some reason, had issues with them. Plus, uh, this one, like if you download those GOG games, GOG dot com, uh, um, uh, good old games. They have the older games, like you can download, you know, uh, Baldur's Gate, things like that. Just old school games. Uh, would run obviously run completely fine on this, but for some reason it you know it was it, it didn't stretch to the resolution of the screen, or even stretch to the screen. That was a driver issue, and it never got solved for some unknown reason. Nobody ever the driver they never solved that with the driver, so it just it was useless. You can't so you really couldn't do much with this as far as games, other than the Windows games worked fine. Like I actually have a video of uh, of the Halo game on this, so let's. Uh, Load this while I'm talking here. Uh, so yeah, the Halo game worked completely fine um, on this. It was you know not as fluid as fluid. I mean, not super fluid. It would have been nicer if it was a little more fluid, but it wasn't. It was completely playable. But that's that's just about it. Windows games from the store work pretty much fine on this dog. But that was it. No, I really wanted something I could play like those 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 GOG games on. Um, just just for just for you know passing the time and the battery life was so good on this you could take this on a trip and you know play it on a coast to coast trip do some gaming so anyway here we are in uh new vegas uh and this uh 
runs, I have it running on low settings at 720, so it is widescreen aspect, so which is good. But as far as, uh, uh, let's see here, smoothness, it's completely good. I mean, you could you could play through this whole game. It's hard for me to do this with uh, one hand, of course, but uh, let's, let's look. Uh, smooth, it's smooth. I don't know how well it's going to translate, but it is smooth. It runs completely fine. You could play the whole game on this. Um, and it would be good. The one good thing about this is uh, the speakers are awesome on this compared to most notebooks I've ever used. They did a really good job with the speakers. Um, sound is full. Uh, stereo. Sound, it actually just sounds really good. Uh, let's see. So let's try. I have a... I have uh, BlueStacks installed on here with the An Android emulator, and it works really good too. Like, let's start up Angry Birds here. So, if you have uh, if you have Android apps that you really like that aren't available on Windows, which is a billion of them, you can just use uh, use uh, BlueStacks. I don't know what's going on here, and maybe it was running from earlier or something. Or maybe not. What's going on? Let's force close that and start it again. I think it was just running from earlier when I was messing around with it. Uh, let's run Angry Birds. Everything runs well, though. I mean, on it, all the Angry Birds and stuff like that all run pretty smooth. They aren't like 100% silky smooth as they are on the Windows Store uh, apps or on the Android. Pretty good, though. I would say. They're 85% to 90% is good. Let's get this thing going. It's pretty cool because it gives you the option of actually, you know, having Android. It's like having an Android tablet kind of too. Completely touch screen and the, and the uh, sensor works in this so you can, whatever that's called, go to a different aspect when you turn the screen. But let's see here. See if we can do this with one hand. There you go. As you can see, smooth works. Which is pretty darn awesome. Gives you a lot of a lot of apps you can use. So let's close this guy. Um, I use it mainly like I use it for some of the apps. Like Sirius XM is one I really like that I use it with. Uh, so. Anyway, this one didn't really run BlueStacks at all. I mean, you could start things up. It would take forever for anything to run. You know, as you can see, this one was actually pretty fast at starting that up, and most apps start up pretty quick. Uh, <clears throat> what else? Um, so screen-wise, they're about the same. I probably like the overall design of this with the battery and stuff in it. Uh, I like to be able to flip the screen around like this and use it and you can't do that with uh with the asus although you actually can i'll show you you just pull this dog out Ugh. as you can see and then you can just sit it back in the you can set it into the into this the same way but of course not as easy you just you can put it in backwards it doesn't really snap in but it works i've used it a couple times like that so it is it is capable of doing that let's pull this one out Compare the size if you're actually interested. So, so as you can see, uh, there. Let's put one on top of the other without scratching anything out. Actually, you know they're just about the same, but if anything, the Asus is slightly, uh, slightly larger, as you can see right there. Going back, and I would say they're the same thickness. It's Asus is a little harder to tell because they have it they have it beveled on the edge. But uh, anyway, other than that, I would recommend uh, for three hundred fifty bucks you really can't beat it. I don't think you can get anything else even close with a keyboard and stuff. Um, the Dell Venue is something that I think I may hold out for. I may sell this. If anybody wants to buy it, I'll sell it at cost. Three hundred fifty bucks is what I paid for it. Uh, Plus, you know, for sure, you'd have to pay for shipping and stuff if you want it. Um, 
probably I don't know. Never mind. Uh, disregard that. I'll probably keep it or just take it back to the store. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, anything else? Let's see. If you want me to do any testing of anything, just let me know in the comments. Uh, what else? I know I'm going to forget something here that's important. Uh, battery life, 11 to 12 on this, I guess. And then this, just the tablet, gets about 8 to 9 on this. And this doubles it, gets you about 14. I could take this to school all week, Monday through Thursday, not charge it the whole time, and just charge it maybe once a week, and I'd use it for, you know, off and on at school, you know, maybe an hour or two a day uh, of actual usage. But it's pretty good. Um, I think that's it.